Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome to my project pan update number eight. Yes, eight. Update eight. Uh, so I'm going to run through the products that I have finished off in the month of August. Um, I have lots of little like sample bits. Um, when it comes to talking about samples and sheet masks, I'm just going to show you my empties. I'm not going to then later on show you the things that I haven't finished because I just don't see the point. Because I didn't finish them. I have the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I don't think I like this. I can't really remember. Ugh, look, I'm always of the mindset that if I use a sample and I can't remember using it, it wasn't special. Uh, so there's that. I used these two shades, which I mixed together. Maple will be way too dark for me, so I'm not going to bother using that. Um, I also used both of my NARS Laguna uh, bronzing cards. I love NARS Laguna. But I have this product coming out the wazoo. I have multiple of them in my drawers back here. Um, so, you know, I love it. But I have it, so it's not like I need to buy it. Um, and this here is the By Terry Lip Expert uh, Liquid Lipstick. So there was two matte and two shine. Uh, I actually have some of these in the full size. I don't know if I have any of these specific colours, but... Anyway, they're like one application, and I like paired the matte with the gloss. Um, I can tell you that, like, I just, I don't get along well with matte anything on the lips these days. Even like standard cream lipsticks, like the one that I've got in my project pan. Like, this is a nice hydrating cream lipstick, but some days I fucking struggle with it. Skincare bits. Uh, I have the Sampa So Much To Do Midnight Mask. I really like this. I really, really enjoyed it. My skin in August, I don't know what happened, but my God, it was so dry. It was so dry and it felt rough. It felt like sandpaper. It was so, so bad. And I was struggling to get the moisture in. But something like this, super helpful. It's like an injection of moisture, which is really nice. Uh, I would actually consider buying that. I would. I'm going off my medication uh, later in September, which is awesome. And I'm hoping my skin's going to balance out a little bit. So I won't need something this hydrating. But uh, if my skin never goes back to normal and I do need something super hydrating, that is one that I would seriously consider. Uh, I also have the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream. This is quite nice. It's not, oh, for someone like me, it's not super duper hydrating, but it's comfortable enough. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, works well under makeup. And I have two of the Perido Buffet Serum Sachets. That's a nice sort of, you know, general serum. Uh, sheet masks, I have the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essential Mask. They're nice. I like them. This one is the Go-To Transformazing Sheet Mask. It's supposed to make you look as though you know what sleep is. I use this this morning, and it's not the mask that's making me look like I know what sleep is. It's the lighting that's just washing out my under-eye bags. You can still see them bad times. Uh, and then I have the double and zero uh, collagen sheet mask. These are nice as well. Sheet masks are always handy when I need to like inject moisture into my skin, which is about six times a day. Uh, but who wants to apply a sheet mask six times a day? I don't. Okay, makeup empties sort of. Wait, let's start with this one. This is the Linda Holberg Blossom Oil. So I was using this as a like cuticle oil. I liked it very much, but I am calling it quits. It's extremely difficult to get product out of it now. <laughs> I've been like sitting it upside down. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's, it's nice. I wouldn't actively purchase this as a cuticle oil. I'll just use jojoba oil. Like, 
I can go down to Chemist Warehouse and buy it in bulk. It'll last me a lifetime. Uh, my makeup items. Okay, I am calling it quits on the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Lingering. So this is one of the pen ones with the... Um, this is dumb. It's, I don't even know what this is. It's like a powder with a sponge. No, 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 no. Um, I like the brush tip. I, oh, would I buy one again? Look, I just really like a good micro brow pencil. And I don't feel like, I feel like these, this type of thing is, it's quite subtle. And when I'm using a brow pencil, like, I don't need to really fill out the bulk of my brows. I've got brows. I need to balance them out because they're different friggin' shapes. And I need to fill in some bald patches. Like, I've got... A scar on this eyebrow and stuff like that so I do need something that's a little bit more sort of um, intense with its coloring rather than going over the one spot 20 times trying to make it look like it's filled in with something that's subtle like this but I definitely think these have a place I just don't feel like it's something that I need in my routine just give me a good micro brow pencil. And this. I'm calling it quits on this too. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani, um, I don't know, cheek face palette. Uh, so I finished this one, which was lo-fi. I was using it as a bronzer. I don't want to finish anything else. I don't want to use it. It's just getting old. I achieved something with it, which is great. Moving on to progress of my other products. So... I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer here. I'm starting to like see the product go down, which is super exciting. This was 122.26 grams. It's now 118.48 grams. Um, I look, I don't really, I've never been a primer person. I'm, I'm still not a primer person. This one's fine because it doesn't offend me. Uh, it's just like a moisturizer. Great. My foundation is from Wet n Wild. This is a photo focus uh, foundation in soft ivory. So this was 118.79 grams, now 113.92 grams. Uh, today, when I went to use it, I like, you know, I did my thing on my face. And then I put it back in like this. And uh, when I pulled it out to pop a little bit more on, I noticed that... Uh, there wasn't product all over the wand. It was like right at the bottom. So yeah, there's there's not really that much in there. Also, how the hell do you like get oh yeah, okay. When I scrape it, it's like Oh, this is exciting. I'm getting okay, I'm getting close. Um I was thinking today when I realized, hey, I'm actually getting close to finishing this. It's like how the fuck do people get foundation out of this when it's like getting low I'm not gonna fight for it I don't love the foundation that much I'm just putting it out there um, but yeah it's getting close and I'm excited about that because it means I might actually be able to finish another uh, foundation this year that one and another one fingers crossed Concealer. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. It's such a good colour for me. I Like, it's spot on. It's spot on and I love that. So this was 29.22 grams, now 28.51 grams. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going with that. It's huge. There's heaps of product in there. It's fine. It'll probably take me all year to finish it. Then I have my Wet n Wild uh, Pressed Powder. This is in Neutral Beige. So I'm not using as much powder anymore. I really can't. I've even started experimenting with not wearing any powder like in this area of my face, especially under my eyes and on my smile lines because shit, man, it ages me so badly. And I'm like, haven't been able to have Botox this year. Uh, so like under my eyes, all of my fine lines, which would usually like be smoothed out a little bit when I get my crow's feet done because the, you know, the Botox moves a tiny bit. Um, 
that's just like there with a fucking vengeance and these smile lines i'm i'm seriously considering cheek filler to smooth them out because i've been told that's pretty much the only option for smile lines and i like i really hate them i hate them so much you know people say smile lines it shows you smile a lot and i do and that's great but um i would much prefer to look like a bitch and not have smile lines I'm just putting it out there. Soz. So anyway, I've really not been using a whole lot of powder. However, I have like worked the sort of dome off this product, which is great. I did not weigh it last month when I introduced it. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, anyway, it's now 41.35 grams. So we'll see how much I use over September. Shut up, birds. Shut up. My setting mist is from Morphe. This is the continuous setting mist. I didn't apply it today, so I'm going to do it right now. This was... Oh, man. If you have one of these in your stash and you can use it and it doesn't fuck up your makeup because I feel like people with oily skin can't get away with using this because it destroys makeup, um, I would highly suggest that you try to pan it if you want to. I mean, if you're trying to treasure the product, fine. Don't don't try to pan it but uh this is easy to use up this was 111.64 grams last month when i introduced it it's now 88.87 grams and now it's probably like 60 grams so there we go i'm glad to be using up another one of these i think i have one more i can see one in my box down here um i still have not put away my setting mists from when I did that 100 layers of uh, face sprays live video. Lazy. This one here is from Colourpop. It is a blush sticks in the shade Under Pressure. So this I introduced last month. I have like worn the little nub uh, from the top, but it's basically flat when I wind it down. So this was... Uh, 40.71 grams, now 40.62 grams. <laughs> um, when I apply this, like, when I'm just wearing it on a normal, not going to be on camera day, um, I use the tiniest, tiniest amount because it's, like, it's pretty full on. The colour is, like, it's intense. Uh, when I wear it on camera, I can wear a lot more of it, which is good because the lights wash it out but this is going to be slow going to be fair i'll most likely get sick of this color before i finish it okay i'm closing that door because that bird is irritating the shit out of me shut up you don't even sound cute my highlighter is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Razy highlighter so if you follow me on instagram and you watch my instagram stories you will you'll know the situation with this. So uh, I was using it one day and like I opened it and down in this corner product was lifting and every now and then there'd be a little bit that like sort of breaks away and I would just, you know, tip it in my rubbish bin because I don't like having little chunks of product uh, on pans in case I accidentally dust it on my clothing or on my floor or something like that. So anyway, I tip it up in the bin and plonk, the whole pan falls out. Not surprised at all. This, this was a repressed highlighter from an episode of The Makeup Breakup. It has a grid pan to hold the product in place, but the formula of this is sort of like a um, flaky kind of formula. So it's not like a standard finely milled um, like highlight pigment basically. So I I wasn't surprised that it happened. I The reason I put it in the project was to use it because I knew eventually that would happen. I have a lot of experience with repressing highlighters and repressing other products. I can tell when something is going to repress well, when it's not, when it's going to hold up and when it's not. And I knew that this one would not hold up. 
Now, sad thing about it was that I was starting to really enjoy the highlighter. So I am wearing it today. It's gorgeous. Every time I wear it, people are like, what are you wearing on your face? I'm like, don't even, don't even worry about it. Just dig through your collection and find something pretty. You can't get it anyway. Who fucking cares? Um, now, I have decided that I'm going to hold on to it and just use what's in the grid because what's sort of the product that's pressed into the grid, it'll last me the rest of the year and probably all through fucking summer next year anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I think, like, I'm going to introduce another highlighter that I want to focus on um, and try and finish up. But, yeah. Look, this was nice. I'm sure that I've got something in my stash that is extremely similar to it. So, you know, it is what it is. My cream eye products. So I have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot here. This was 52.11 grams, now 51.87 grams. Um, I reckon, I reckon I've used like maybe a third of this so far, which is pretty good. It is sort of thickening up a little bit. Ah. Oh. I know it'll dry up before I finish it, which is, you know, it is what it is, but I keep going with it. And then I have the Australis Metallics in Gold Gaga. This was 11.21 grams, now 11.17 grams. Um, look, it's also drying up, but God, I'm determined to finish it. There's really not that much in there. And then I have my CoverGirl Get In Line Liquid Liner. So this was 9.66 grams. It's now 9.63 grams. <laughs> Slow going. Benefit. This is a 24-hour brow setter. Um, I like this product. It's great. I rarely use it, but I like it. Uh, this was 16.92 grams. Now 16.8 six grams. My lip liner is from Colourpop. It's in the shade Beeper. It has seen better days, I can tell you that much. Uh, this was 5.83 grams, now 5.71 grams. Everything's slow going. I just don't really give a shit about wearing makeup at the moment. We're in lockdown. I don't care. I only really put on makeup if I'm going to be sitting in front of a camera. So there you go. Uh, Rimmel Boho Nude Lipstick. This was 14.77 grams, now 14.69 grams. When I look at it like this, I'm like, you're so close. You're so fucking close. Wear makeup more often. Reapply the lipstick. Uh, then I have the Makeup Face Clear Gloss. This was 17.13 grams, now 17.1 gram. Uh, so zero point, no. 0 0.03 grams I used. Honestly, I probably used it like, I don't know, three or four times in the whole month. Um, I'm mostly just using lip balms at the moment because that's what I want to wear. Oh, okay. I've left two things inside. My nail polish. I found it. I finally found it. I haven't used it. Um, I'm feeling like I'll probably, once the weather starts to get better and I'm not like wearing closed toed shoes every single day, I will start putting that on my toenails, but I'm, nothing is going on my nails at the moment except for gel polish. So yeah, there's, there's that. Anyway, I didn't use it and it's inside and my hair product, the NUC Aromas, aromas ends therapy I don't think I used it at all uh, that's also inside I have been using my function of beauty products um, I really like them I really like them I got my formula spot on this time around um, I have one that's for uh, like it's purple shampoo and conditioner uh, so I've just been using that and I've also been using uh, some Davenez products. So there we go. The NUC has been ignored. And it looks like my last product is this here from Katy Perry. This is a red perfume, whatever it's called. Uh, this was 252.71 grams and it's now 247.1 grams. 
So I have used it a little bit, which is great. I am surprised because we're in lockdown. I don't really, like, I go to the supermarket, like, once every 10 days. I don't really leave the house very much. And I don't really put perfume on me when I'm just walking around the house. There's no one to enjoy the scent. And I'm just like, I don't give a shit. I don't care what I smell like. I'm mostly cleaning the house anyway. So get up in the morning, do something in the house, gotta have a shower. Who cares about the perfume? I don't. I'm gonna introduce two new products. One of them is a bronzer. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Sunkissed. Uh, it is, oh, fucking. <laughs> I don't know where that went, <laughs> but it made a ding. Um, I fucking hate shit like that. Like, can you just not? That's also going to throw my weight off for next month because I weighed it with that in there. I'm not weighing it again. I don't care. Uh, anyway, this is the shade. I think this will probably be more than enough for me for summer because I am pale as shit under all of this. Um, anyway, there's that. It's I've used it like, I've used it a little bit, but I haven't worn off the pattern yet, as you guys can see. So anyway, there's that. Uh, the scent of that doesn't offend me too much. I know some people can't stand it. That's fine. I don't fucking blame you. Let's be real. It's intense. Um, and then I'm introducing a highlighter. This is the other one that I wanted to, like, get to at some stage. I wasn't sure if I would get to it this year. I didn't know how long the ABH would hold up. But anyway, yeah, look, and it's crumbling. It's starting to crumble. Hang on. This is what, this is what happens. Just gonna, yep. Yeah get rid of that shit. I don't want that on my clothes. I don't want that on my floor. I don't want to have to clean that up. But that's what happened with Anastasia Beverly Hills and the whole thing fell out. I don't think the whole thing... Oh, this looks like it's... No, you're good. Uh, I don't think the whole thing is going to fall out. It's just... Becca highlighters usually repress really well. This one is just shit because we tried to do this dumbass crap in it. Uh, anyway, this is Ocean's Glow Highlighter. I don't know if I said that. Um, and it has been repressed because uh, it was on an episode of The Makeup Breakup. Uh, so it's sort of nude. With... Oh, is that going to be too dark for me? It probably is. But what I'll do is I will keep it in. I will play with it if it... Oh, shit. Whatever. I'll use it. I'll let you guys know next month. Might just go in the rubbish bin. Who knows? So that's it for my project pan update number eight. Knowing that I'm kind of close to finishing that foundation makes me think I should wear makeup a little bit more often. Because realistically, with what's in there, there's like this much. I could totally finish it in a month. Easily. If I wore makeup several times a week. So watch this space. Let's see how I can do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.